Hi, I'm Larissa Reed from Living in Bundina in Mainba, and I'm here with Wanda Stafford at her beautiful studio. Thank you. Studio 11. Studio 11 <laughs> on the Arthur's track. Thank yep. you. Yeah. So Wanda, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, Larissa, um, I've been in Bundina for um, about two and a half years, um, and uh, I've uh, been a painting since I was 23 years of age, but part-time, and uh, uh, five years ago I gave up my job and took a risk with uh, my art, and um, and now sort of going very well with it. And uh, I do watercolours, mainly is my passion, mm -hmm. but I do these large acrylics as you can see here, yeah. and as well, so they're very different, yeah. and very different, but um, yeah, there's one sort of very slow and uh, watercolours, uh, are very unforgiving. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got to be very patient with these. Where here I can go crazy and put the music on. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. You mentioned you've only been doing it full time for a while. What did you do before that? Yeah, Larissa, I uh, was a registered nurse for um, 32 years. I'm showing my age. <laughs> <laughs> I started my nursing training as a registered nurse at Sutherland Hospital mm -hmm. with the veils. Oh, a whole good. lot, yeah. <laughs> Very angelic. <laughs> and um, I've sort of travelled sort of with my nursing in different places, Prince Alfred, and uh, did palliative care, bone marrow transplant, and the last five years of my nursing I was at um, Sutherland Hospital again in the new section, so yeah. that's where I finished my nursing and made some beautiful friends there. And uh, one day I just walked out. <laughs> And decided to take decided the risk. To take the risk. It, you know, I, was, I was getting tired, um, mm -hmm. and it's you know nursing is a hard, hard job, great rewarding job, but hard. Mm. And I'd always done my art, and uh, went to exhibitions here, then everywhere, but never really was confident enough to go to the next step. Mm -hmm. Well, I was forced there. <laughs> so I w was able to buy, uh, not buy a bigger part. I was able to um, uh, a house up in. Mount Victoria. I uh, stayed there for three months mm -hmm. and it was house sitting and um, there I met some really, a lot of people in the art world yeah. that really guided me along and they knew what they were doing and helped me along. So there are exhibitions like every every week for about nine months of the year so it was sort of really pressure. You had to get at least three or four done yeah. every week yeah. virtually. You know. So yeah, um, I got sick up at the, the mountains and had to come back to Sydney, which was the best thing I ever did. Came back to Cronulla for about a year to 18 months, got myself healthier and just went, I can't stand the noise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a bit old for it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so one of my friends lives here and said, why don't you come and live in Bundy and give it a go. Yep, best and of both worlds. Best of both worlds and look yeah. at it here, it's just beautiful. <laughs> I uh, was born and raised in Cronulla. <laughs> my, uh, I was named after Wanda Beach. My dad was club captain of Wanda Surf Club when I was born, and he actually delivered me on Tom Ugly's Bridge when men in those days did not deliver children. <laughs> but I didn't make it to hospital. Oh, wow. And he said to mum, I'm not a proper Wanda. So um, uh, it's a very special name, and you know, I'm part of the Southern Shire. My dad and mum were very big in the Southern Shire. He was a very good athlete, mm -hmm. and my mum was an artist. That's probably where I got my talent from. Yeah. Although on my dad's side, his uh, sister was a quadriplegic and she actually painted and did brilliant oh. art with her mouth. So and, you got it from both sides. So both sides, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. <laughs> Tell me a bit about what inspires you. Um, yeah, well, the most important thing since I've been moved to Bundina, uh, my inspiration had. had probably be the happiness I, happiest I've ever been, most peaceful place to live and um, I've got a beautiful partner and my mum lives upstairs uh, and, and the birds. you hear the birds <laughs> and like the kookaburras wake me up at 5 o'clock or 4.30 every morning sitting on the posts here and the galahs are over there you know in the water splashing and these cheeky little monkeys are here trying to get in the garbage <laughs> bins and I just wake up and the frogs and you know everything, I just wake up just glowing yeah. and I think it's reflecting in my art, especially yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. So so birds are certainly wildlife is certainly inspiring me at the moment. Yeah. Where I'm diverse with different things but certainly wildlife, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the ocean. Yeah. 
So you are number 11 on the Art Trail. Yes. Tell us about the Art Trail. Okay. The Art Trail is a fascinating, um, it's a fascinating day. It, um, you People come from all over the place, you know, for when they're tourists, so they come by ferry or drive in and, uh, you know, you'll have uh, the you know, gates open and people come, you could get 80 to 100 people in on a Sunday. It's the first Sunday of uh, the month and we're open between 10 and ten and 4. Right. And there's a uh, maximum 20 of artists on the art trail and each artist opens their studio to the public. And so people just walk in and they can just browse around, ask you questions about your art, how you do it, or they can buy. Mm -hmm. and, um, and certainly buying from an individual studio is a lot cheaper than going to a, a gallery uh, you know, where commissions are charged and stuff like that. So it's a great way to buy a piece. Um, we've got several well-known and famous artists on the trail, so it's quite an honour to be part of this. Um, being pretty much the new kid on the block with it, um, it's it's been an experience um, and quite humbling to be with some very uh, famous folk like Joan uh, Wei Ching and his wife Wang Wang and Rob Wilson and uh, the list goes on. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so on the day people come and just browse around and uh, it's just. Uh, it's a great day because also you know around we have the you know the Bundina RSL always have and the cafes yeah. there's food and music and the markets, markets. <laughs> yeah so it's everything's happening yeah. and um, yeah so I now it took me a long time I was very nervous each time I'd open but now I really look forward to it because um, yeah the people come in and you know, most people go wow your art is so bright and, yes, right, and, right. <laughs> and it is so um, but that just depicts a little bit of me yeah. <laughs> a bit crazy yeah. <laughs> so yeah so art trail um, is so I'll, um, I'll put all the information up on the okay yeah um, yeah so you've got the yeah, yeah. All, so we've basically we've got the Facebook page the art mm -hmm. trail my page Facebook page yeah. as you know. Um, and the two website, my website, and yep. our trust. So I'll put all those yeah, things onto yeah, the YouTube. Yeah, so great. That's it? Yes. So I'm Larissa Reid from Living in Bundina and Mainbar, and this was Wanda Stafford. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Larissa. Thank you. <laughs>